Right now I'm in the middle of the ocean and what's behind me is the world's craziest adventure hotel. Say hello to the frying pan tower. Yoo! An adventure destination you'll either want to visit or one you're going to want to stay far, far, far away from. <laughs> it can be pretty scary and rightfully so. That's because this place has 90 foot high walkways. It's constantly hit by massive hurricanes. It's surrounded by sharks. Because it's located 34 miles off the coast of North Carolina, the only way off of it is a long ride back on a boat or helicopter. If you can get over the fear of being stuck in the middle of the ocean, it's actually pretty cool. Hi, I'm Richard and somehow I ended up owning this place. And this place was originally a lighthouse put in a dangerous area of the ocean. We call this place the graveyard of the Atlantic. Because here, it's so shallow, many ships would run aground and sink. So after many years of service, it was finally retired. Because ships could now navigate around the shallow areas with the help of modern technology. So the Coast Guard listed it for sale at an auction and Richard placed a bid. I had no idea I'd win, but I did. And $85,000 later, he was the proud new owner of an old, rusty, dilapidated lighthouse in the middle of the ocean that turned into the biggest project of his life. Because we're in international waters, we could have turned this into a casino, a brothel, or even declared our own nation. Instead, Richard decided to turn it into the world's coolest adventure destination. But before that could happen, it needed a lot of work because every single supply and tool had to make a long journey out to the tower. There's no Amazon Prime out here. But after the hard work and help of family and friends, it was finally livable. Now it's the equivalent of a one-star hotel, but it's got a billion stars above it. At night, those stars shine bright because there's zero light pollution. It's peaceful and quiet. But when the sun comes up, things start to really get exciting. First, you kick off the day with breakfast. Breakfast? Breakfast? Here's breakfast. And after breakfast and some coffee, you can practice your swing and feed the fish with these special golf balls that turn into fish food. You can work on your balance with a unicycle or try the slack line over the water down below. See how good your aim is and go skeet shooting with biodegradable clays. Challenge someone to a game of cornhole, go snorkeling with some small fish, or the big ones too. Work on perfecting your high dive. Rip around the tower on a jet ski, or just chill. And if you have some work to do, you can even check your email. Hold on, you're saying we can surf the web? Yeah, we have the fastest internet around. No way, my friend Salvo said... My internet is faster than yours. I beg to differ, we have gigabit internet. And after all that, you might be pretty hungry. Hello, and welcome to the frying pan tower. One hour later. And after dinner, you can celebrate one hell of a day. <sighs> Whoa! Turns out you don't need to stay at a five-star hotel to have a good time. Richard, a guy who knew nothing about running a hotel, decided to buy one anyway, one in the middle of the ocean. I'm just figuring it out as I go. But what he's showing the world is that with the right mindset, a little bit of help, and some hard work, you can turn a piece of junk in the middle of the ocean into one of the coolest places around. 